everybody, this is John. Uh, we've got a tale of multiple markets here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to take a look at UPST. This is one we've traded a couple of times. Got a daily chart over here and a weekly chart over here. You can see, of course, on the daily chart, we have been an uptrend, you know, once it kind of broke through 15. Uh, this thing has been on a very massive uptrend, and it's been a fun one to trade. Uh, nice daily squeeze here. And then if we look at the weekly chart, though, we can see, you know, from whence it came. This used to be a $400 stock not too long ago, and it spent a lot of time doing nothing. And we're just now kind of seen a little bit of a pop. There's a lot of stocks out there that have this pattern. They just got destroyed and now whether it's short covering or new buying, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, you know, we're starting to see some moves like that. Then we have the big eight. So Microsoft is a good example of this. Um, Microsoft, Apple, you know, NVIDIA, Amazon, Google, Meta, etc. Uh, this move in these big eight stocks, you know, I think without these eight stocks, the S&Ps would be up like 3% for the year or something like that. So obviously a huge, huge thing. Now, the reason I bring this up is that you're starting to see a little bit of quieting down um, from this move. So you have, uh, the biggest thing I've noticed here is that on the weekly chart, on these RAF, and this is the big oscillator, um, we got sell signals all over the place. Now that doesn't mean um, you know over sold, overbought can stay overbought obviously for a long time, but you know when you start to see some breakdown in price action and this starts to roll over, it, it does certainly open up the door for a bigger decline. And at this point, I'm not looking you know all I would be looking for would be you know just kind of a pull a normal pullback, but just keep in mind that that's that's happening. And if we look at the composite um, of all the big stocks, and by the composite, that simply, you know, you take, um, let's see, so you've got Apple, so so this is like all the, all the big stocks, you can create an index here and have it price weighted, right? Thank you, Sam. So Apple, uh, 1.5, uh, you, got, you got Amazon, 1.0, AMD, uh, Meta, Google, Microsoft, uh, Netflix, uh, Nvidia, Tesla, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Probably could actually add a, a few more in there. But if we look at that index as a whole, that kind of index, you can see that in general this group of stocks uh, is also kind of same thing, exhibiting the same behavior. So you do have a daily squeeze over here. So maybe this does take off, but this whole group of stocks here is also, you know, we're at three ATR on a weekly chart. It's hard to go much beyond that without some type of a pullback and kind of a reset. Uh, from here, then we, you know, we've got the S and P's, of course, and the S and P's have had this nice march up, and 40, 450, 4500, certainly a big resistance level. And uh, the question here is from here, are we just going to explode higher or are we going to you know, take some time to digest? Now, the, you know, this is all bullish action and we're starting to see things like transports uh, come alive. You know, they've been they've been ripping here. Stocks like Federal Express. We've been even IWM is kind of coming back. Uh, and, we, and we look at all this and just remember that tomorrow we've got the CPI numbers. And you know, inflation is definitely falling hard. And the question is, is it going to be falling hard enough for the markets to kind of explode higher again? Or is it going to be kind of like middle of the road and now the markets really just have to focus on digesting their gains? So that's what we're we'll looking at for tomorrow. And I do think that we're at a point where unless the CPI is magnificently better than expected, I do think we're at a time in the markets where I would be more looking for kind of a choppy range for the next four to six weeks uh, versus any explosion up or any implosion down. And, um, you know, just kind of trading that as, you know, just kind of being aware of that and not, this is not a time to buy far out of the money calls on Microsoft and hope for the best, I guess is what I'm trying to say there. So more of a range bound market versus, you know, another kind of a nuclear explosion to the upside. All right, hope it helps you guys have a good one and we'll see you at the next update. Hey, John here with Simple Trading. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, comment down below and let us know what topic you want to see us cover next. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get notified when we release new videos. And if you want to watch us trade in real time using our own money, go to SimplerTrading.com and learn how to sign up. Good trading, and we'll see you next time.